Hi everyone, this is Kathy Epps with the Epps Elson team, and Kevin and I are going to be starting to do some videos from time to time to send to our clients and friends on topics that we think may be helpful to you. And this topic is going to be about getting your home ready for sale. The spring market is right around the corner, and you or someone you know may be interested in getting your home ready to sell. And where do you start and what do you do? So a couple things that we'll address, not everything, but a couple things here is going to be um, important. The first is being decluttering your home, removing the extra furniture, the extra accessories, things that make it look tight. Most of the time, the reason you're moving is because you've run out of room and run out of space, but you don't wanna show your future buyer that that's the way your home is. So taking furniture out of the room, taking unnecessary things out of the room is going to be important. Um, each room should have a purpose. So like in a bedroom, you're not gonna to wanna to keep your treadmill in the bedroom and a desk area in your dining room. So those are some of the things that we'd be looking at as far as getting your home decluttered. We'll look at closets, we'll look at linen closets. We wanna make sure that there's plenty of space and, uh, and that we'll have a plan to help you go do that. Um, depersonalizing is also important. You want to take down all those family photos and put them away. You want to make sure when the buyer looks at your house that they're looking at your house and not your not your family. <laughs> so um, that will be something that we'll talk about when we get together. What needs updating in your home? Um, that can be something that we can have a conversation about. You don't necessarily have to spend unnecessary money on some things. It just depends on what the neighborhood requires you to do. But generally, we'll look at fixtures, uh, which is an inexpensive way to update a room. We'll look at um, just a fresh coat of paint even. And that's gonna be probably pretty important that, that people do, whether you need to do carpet or not is something that we'll look at on an individual basis. But a fresh coat of paint makes everything look fresh and clean and it sparkles that way. So fresh and clean, that's another that's another important part. So you definitely want to do a thorough cleaning of your room, of your home, of entire home. So pay a special attention to bathrooms and uh, and the kitchen where buyers spend most of your time and you want to make sure that looks good too. So other than cleaning your entire house and depersonalizing and decluttering, you want to make sure that you look at the curb appeal as well. Um, that's your first impression. So you want to make sure that the door looks good, the fresh coat of paint on a door, the bushes are trimmed, and maybe the power washing is done on the house to get rid of that yucky moldy stuff that grows over the winter. Um, there's so many things that, that we'll probably discuss, but it's important to have a plan and a strategy to do that. And now is the time to do it if you're thinking of selling in the spring. So I look forward to talking to you if you have any questions or you know anybody that may have questions, let them know. I'd be happy to talk to them and come up with a strategy too. Have a great day and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.